Good morning, everyone. Here we are, April the 18th, and I have a bit of a word I'd like to share with you this morning. First, uh, we'll start off with a word in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. There's a profound word there that uh, speaks to us about the character of God. And God said to the children of Israel in Exodus 26, he said, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I put on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. I want you to think about that today. I am the Lord who heals you. And it is connected to keeping his statutes and walking with him. And then in in John chapter 14, verse 21, it also says, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father. He who loves me will be loved by my Father. It's the same Father he's talking about in Exodus 15, 26, where it's said about him that I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. And so as we meditate on who our Father is, we know that He is the one who has healing within Himself. He's our healer. And I want us to think about that today. If we're believing for healing for our physical bodies, but also healing of relationships, healing in families, healing uh, in our province, in our nation, in the land, He is the one who heals. And notice Jesus said, it, he who loves me is the one who keeps my commandments. So we demonstrate our love for Jesus by keeping his commandments. And then the Bible says the Father will love us as well. And when he abides with us, as Jesus said he would, then healing is a part of that abiding. So I want you to think about that today, that the, the healer, the Father, is with us at all times and Whenever we see something that's not right, we say, God can take care of that. God is our healer. We do our part. God does his part. So just uh, think about that today as you go through your day. And I'm looking forward uh, to hearing Bob's message tomorrow. I know he's going to have a, a, the word of the Lord for you and I for uh, Sunday, uh, April the 19th. So God bless you and have an awesome day as you go through your day. And in the midst of it, stay steady.